everybody. Hi. Welcome back to another video. Um, we are all packed up, but we are leaving Hun Stanton. Um, so this is a brand new vlog and it is going to be a Sandringham estate vlog. So um, it's basically on the way home um, in Norfolk and we are going to have a look around the Sandringham estate, obviously one of the Queen's residences. So I thought I'd make a vlog out of it. Um, Atticus is really interested in it. I'm pretty much interested in it, to be honest. You um, had loads of that. You yeah, had loads of I did. I used to have. Diana. I did. I used to have loads of all family books. So we're all packed up. We're just going to hand the keys in at reception. We're, we're going to have breakfast um, before we leave the camp because they do a really nice breakfast here. Then we're going to go make our way to Sandringham. And then we're going to make our way. Minute yeah, something like that. So yeah, let's go to Sandringham. So we are in breakfast. Atticus has got a huge plate of scrambled egg, hash browns and some toast. I'm going to have marmalade on toast. I've got coffee and I've got a yoghurt and some pastries. So we just entered the gardens. This is about a 10 minute walk to the house. It's lovely, it's so quiet, isn't it Atticus? Yeah. Do you want to show them what you've just purchased just, from the gift shop? I just purchased a Sandringham estate. Sandringham. It's really nice, I'll show them it. In the Atticus car. has a bear for every place we go to, don't oh, you darling? Where do we go, that way or that way? Um, this way down here. And I got, I got in here, a colouring book for Atticus with all the um, palaces in he can colour and some yummy. Yeah, they're made with local flour and um, baked in Norfolk. Oh, How yummy do they the look! Back, um... So we've just got our first glimpse of the house. Lord, what do you think, Atticus? Really nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow, first visit for both of us, isn't it, Atticus? Yeah. What do you think? Is it how really you? Good. Yeah. How quiet, Atticus. Come on then. Look at that tree. Look at this tree. Look at Atticus. Look at that big dark green. Yeah. Look, there's the main balcony. I've said it before in like other vlogs and when we were in London. It seems really strange to be somewhere that you've seen in books for like all your life. You know. Like it's like, you, what was it you were saying about St Paul's? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I said the same thing. It's so great for you to see these places so young, well, Atticus. This is the bird like royal place I've seen, but it's the first residence. The first residence that you would have been into. How gorgeous are these gardens? That's the, main <laughs> the maintenance. That's the main balcony. Is it? I don't think this has been done out for a long time. It doesn't I... need it though, does it? No. We must have a lot of gardeners though, Atticus. It's not one of them palaces what really needs maintenance, is it? But the gardens do. Look at that tree. Not that one Look at that huge really one. Weird. They are, they're, they're a different shape. They're really, really pretty. It's beautiful. It's literally like we're just sitting here and we've got the whole place to ourselves, isn't it, Atticus? Yeah. So nice, look. But Lizzie loves it here. Oh, don't, don't do this <laughs> I'm really joking. I'd love it here if I lived here, to be fair. I'd really love it here. No. Look. 
So we're going to go inside the house now. I asked the guy on the door, and obviously there's no photography and obviously no vlogging, um, so I can't show you inside the house. But I'll start vlogging again when you we can come tell out. Him when but we come um, out. tell you all about it, can't I, Atticus? Yeah. yeah. Wait, me too. Uh, yeah, you can as well. Show them the front of the house. Yeah. Now, I'll show you the front anyway. Where we're going to um, go. So there's the front. I don't know if that's the front or the back. I think that's the front. Yeah, I, I think that's the front. That's where we're going to go in anyway. And the guy said, because I've booked it for one o'clock to go in the house, um, but obviously we got here really early, because check out at the caravan was like early. So he's going to let us in early anyway, so we can shoot off home now. I'll show you this quickly before we go in. Um, statue of a horse, and it says estimate. Estimate, so was that the name of that horse? She, the queen was, was it the Queen's her, horse? The I don't know. She's she here on her birthday on the 26th of April this year. So, a few days ago. Yeah. yeah. Should we go Remember inside? How deep that drain is. Yeah, quite deep. Should we go inside then? Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go. Look. I'm just the camera. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm now going to switch the camera off because I guess the guy will think I'm taking the camera on. Definitely can't vlog, which is understandable. So, yeah, let's go. So, that was one amazing tour so i thought it said we were going in like eight or nine rooms and you sort of just presume that you're not going in the rooms that the queen uses you just presume that i know we went in every single room that the queen uses except her bedroom, except her bedroom obviously it was amazing well she we... uses all the rooms yeah but they were like her private rooms and the only difference is obviously when the queen comes home yeah. They remove like the ropes around the bits and move the red carpet that we're walking on. It was amazing. We even saw the jigsaw that she's in the middle of doing. Um, it, it was absolutely amazing. Atticus, what do you think? Incredible. Go on, tell the camera. I'm speechless. All yeah? I can say is incredible. Really good, weren't it, darling? Yeah. Um, and what we learned so much that actually I didn't even know. Um, out of all the royal residences, um, Balmore and this one, Sandringham, are our actual private owned homes. The rest are state owned. So um, Buckingham Palace, um, Windsor. I knew that. Yeah, I didn't know that. They're all state owned. So I knew that for <coughs> about two years. So this is her private home. She comes here every Christmas and she stays until February, the anniversary of her dad's well, death. Does she come any other time of the year? I say she probably does, but she traditionally comes at Christmas and she stays a couple of months. And you get a real feel, actually, of it being a personal home. And I think that's so great of her to let, to let like, you know, millions of people each year walk through her lounge. To me, that's, that's amazing. Well, they removed the carpet. <laughs> yeah, they removed the carpet, but we saw, like... You know, it was her exact, like there was a picture of her and her mum took years ago on the exact settee and, you know... We found out she doesn't have any more corgis. She's if got no corgis she, left, bless her. She doesn't want them to outlive her. Yeah, she's she got another one, they'd outlive her. So she, now she has doggies, which are a cross between, obviously, a corgi and um, a Datsun, I think he said, didn't he? Oh my God, I'd really recommend a trip here. It, it was amazing, wasn't it, Atticus? Yeah. So I found that absolutely fascinating, you know, to be... You know, there's so much history and just so personal, so personal. All her, all her like personal things were just dotted about, and I was like, wow, what a lady, you know? That was really, really good. Totally recommend a trip to Sandringham. So, we're going to get a drink now and a snack, and then we're going to look at the coaches. So, I guess I might be able to show you the coaches actually. Mm -hmm. It says this is the state landu carriages which were purpose built for long journeys on rough roads. Oh. It's been used, let's have a look, used on state occasions such as the opening of Parliament. So now we're in the Sandringham, what used to be the Sandringham fire station, and I was just reading that Queen Victoria's eldest son was a keen amateur firefighter. Yeah, so he started this. Um, Fire Brigade here at Sandringham. Wow. It's the first photograph of them. Oh, 
Oh, look. So here's the fire engine. I was just reading there's only ever been two fires at Sandringham. And the last one was, when did I say it was Atticus? Yeah, 1903. So, so the first fire was in 1891. And then the second one was in 1903. And the ceiling actually collapsed, but they got Queen Alexandra up just before the ceiling collapsed, but she was so she was devastated by the loss of personal mementos and family photographs. But in both instances, the Sandringham Fire Brigade was commended for their quick action and bravery. Yeah, wow. But they put new ceilings. Yeah, they would have put new. Yeah. And there's the fire engine. So we're on our way back to the car. Um, I just had a sandwich, had a cheese, tomato and chutney sandwich. I'm tired. Atticus is so tired. I mean, we've done loads, haven't we, in the last few yeah, weeks? I'm going to sleep in the car. You're done, you're done. So he's going to put his sleep neck pillow on and he's going to go sleep for the rest. It's only about probably, I'm going to say about an hour and a half um, till we get home, but yeah. Yeah, so we're going to finish this vlog and we're going to head back to Northamptonshire. Um, I think probably the foreseeable vlogs are going to be very home, based in the home. Um, yeah, things Town. centred around the home. Um, because, you know, we've we've been to America now. We've come for a few days at the seaside. We've done lots the within the space of a few weeks. And what do you think the next time we travel will be? I like? don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping, um, yeah, um, it's in my head to book um, Ibiza in the summer holidays obviously and take him there because he's never been there and i think as you all know it's one of my favorite places in the world so have a bite.